Welcome to Fundu Money, your 24 into 7 buddy on all matters related to personal finance. In this web series, we are discussing various things people need to keep in mind while investing in stocks. Now, uh, in this particular segment, we will be talking about trying to demystify one of the terms that is used very, very often. Now, what is this term? That's that's the PE. That is that's right. PE is price earnings ratio. Now. What is this all about and why do people keep talking about it? We'll try to decode it in very, very simple terms for you. That's coming up shortly. Now, PE, price earnings ratio, is something that people, any stock market discussion, any stock uh, sort of discussion, uh, uh, of, a, of a, any discussion about a stock, uh, it gets mentioned. What is this term all about and why it does it hold any kind of importance for an investor, whether it's a prospective investor or an existing investor? To help us understand this, decode this term, we have with us stock market expert Mohit Satan. Hi Mohit. Hi. hi Mohit, PE ratio PE is an oft used term. For a lay investor, can you explain it in simple terms and why should an investor be worried about it? I wouldn't say worried, but mm. I think it's uh, the most important single metric of uh, relating to a stock. So, first earnings. Earnings is the reason I own a stock. And uh, price is how much I'm willing to pay for that. So let's take two hypothetical companies, which are identical in all respects. Uh, they're both growing at the same rate and they both have earnings of one rupee per share each. But the share of one company is priced at 10 rupees and the other at 50 rupees. Which would I buy? Obviously I would buy the share which is available at 10 rupees. Meaning it has a PE ratio of 10 is to 1. For a 1 rupee earning I am paying a price of 10 rupees. That's a PE of 10. But the other one for the same earnings, the same prospect of earnings growth, I am paying 50 rupees. It's much more expensive. So this PE ratio is actually compressing a whole lot of information about a stock into this one number. What is it making today? And what am I paying for that earnings? Of course, you don't buy a stock for what it's earning today. You buy it for what you expect it to earn in the past. But in the absence of other data, what it's earning today, last quarter, last 12 quarter, last um, uh, four quarters, the last uh, running year, becomes a sort of a surrogate or a shorthand for what I expect the company to earn. And therefore, this P-E ratio is the single most important ratio. And we use it not just to look at a company, we use it to look at an entire stock market. So for example, people say today that the PE ratio for the Nifty is close to its all-time high. And uh, therefore, we should be careful about investing in the Nifty. And I think this is uh, probably a good place to insert one more thought, which is that if I had two companies, both of which were available at the same PE, let's say 10. Well, one company has been growing at 10% per annum and another company has been growing at 40% per annum. Which would I rather buy? Obviously, I would much rather buy the shares of the company, which is growing more rapidly. Because then over a period of time, one company will have earnings, the earnings will have only grown by 50% over a four-year period the other would have more than doubled. And therefore, at that point in time, the P ratios of the two will be very, very different. And this is where you bring in another allied concept of PE growth. P peg, peg, peg ratio. Peg, peg ratio. So I don't want to get into that. I'm making the simple point that um, A, the P ratio is extremely important. B, the growth is very important. Well, if uh, a lot of people talk about forward PV ratio, this, that, and uh, no, that's basically you're trying to figure out how it's, 
what you're reading today, how it will pan out tomorrow. Right. Is there any smart or accurate way of doing that, or it's a uh, it's a subjective thing? Anybody can do anything they want. There's no accurate way. Uh, there's no fail-safe way because nobody's seen tomorrow. But um, uh, it's more about feel. Okay. It's more about feel. Um, is this sector growing? Mm -hmm. So is. Um, is the purchase of cars growing in our country or not? Is it growing at 5% per annum or 10% per annum or 20% per annum? Um, within the car market, is Maruti doing well or Hyundai doing well or Ford doing well? Um, um, are steel prices likely to go up or, or go down? So you're, you're, you're putting all of these in and you have analysts who are saying, based on our understanding of all these dynamics, we think that um, Maruti, which earned 100 rupees per share last year, is going to earn 120 rupees per share next year. And its P ratio has traditionally been 40, and therefore if the price is 4,000 rupees today, it's going to be 5,000 rupees tomorrow. I think these are, these are good and very useful ways of looking at uh, a company, and that's what analysts do. Fair enough. So, one thing that comes out is when you're looking at a PE ratio, these are some of the things that a price earnings ratio typically tell you. And that's what you need to be looking at. These are some of the things it tells you and these are some of the things you should be looking at. Uh, we hope you found this useful. You know, you can actually write a book about a PE mm. uh, and people have done so many uh, research and so many stuff. Uh, but just in case you have a good, nice, interesting take, go right ahead and plug it in the comment section. People would be able to benefit from it. We'll get to know, we'll get some ideas. And if you want uh, us to create some fresh content on, on, on any related topic, please mention it in, your, in the comment section. Apart from that, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you as one of our subscribers. And please stay connected with us on all leading social media platforms.